This is the model of a shell and tube heat exchanger. This is a one two pass heat exchanger that is the single shell pass and double tube pass. This is a transparent one so that we can see the internal structure of the heat exchanger. Okay, so, uh, there is a partition here so that on the tube side fluid di uh, directly does not pass completely. So, this is the first pass and this is the second pass from the tube side and then this is the uh, tube side outlet. This is the shell side inlet. So, the shell side liquid fluid passes fr uh, from here. Then uh, there are baffles set for the tube support which ensure that the fluid flows in a up and down manner which also increases the heat transfer and then the fluid is passed out. Here is the complete uh, experimental setup for our shell and tube heat exchanger experiment. This is the control panel where all the switches are placed. This is the main switch which needs to be turned on first. This is the switch for the pump and these two switches are for heaters. Okay, this is where we uh, the thermostat uh, measurements are displayed. So, for temperatures of inlet and outlet flows, this is the uh, display for set point temperature and the inlet temperature. First, we need to uh, turn on the main switch, then we need to turn on the pump. This is the current temperature in the heating tank and that is the set temperature. We will turn on the heaters. Uh, so, the slowly and steadily the current temperature will reach the set point. This is where the temperature of the inlets and outlets of hot and cold fluids are displayed. So, at point 1 it is hot temp hot fluid inlet, point 2 is hot fluid outlet, point 3 is cold fluid inlet and point 4 is cold fluid outlet. Uh, these are the rotameters for measuring the fluid flow rates. So, that is for hot fluid and for cold fluid. Currently, uh, the pump is on and the fluid flow rate is very low. We will adjust it using the control valve here and the bypass valve above. Uh, while opening or closing, we need to do it slowly and we need to make sure that the bubbles disappear completely before we take the reading, so that we get a error free reading. Opening the bypass valve will decrease the flow rate, since the fluid will pass directly to the heating tank without passing through the heat exchanger. This is the valve for adjusting the co cold fluid flow rate. So, as you can see we opened the valve and the flow rate has increased. These are uh, shell and tube heat exchanger. So, these are the inlets and outlets for tube side and uh, these are the inlets and outlets for the shell side on the top. Uh, we can see there that that is the heating tank where the heaters are placed. Uh, using the pump, the water from the heating tank is passed to the shell and tube heat exchanger. 